to one million cats. She has the intro video on her phone. Um, so today our coffee sponsor is Terrace Aquinas Roasters, and that's also our first presenter. This is Carrie and Cheryl Mayfield. Terrace Aquinas Roasters is a small lot coffee roaster roasting specialty coffees from around the world to optimal flavor using ethically sourced beans. So let's see if uh, get a donation. Still. 
So what do we do? So we take uh, high quality single origin coffees. We have them available for retail and, and then wholesale as well. We offer an office coffee service where we're supplying coffee <coughs> brewers and accessories, sugars, creamers, and so forth. And then we also cater. We cater both drip and, and espresso bar. So thinking about more special events, weddings, um, banquets, and so forth. <laughs> Retail bags um, and our espresso bar. So, what do we offer with that? Um, we're a Christian based company. We have morals that we maintain and we guide our company through those morals. We are a local company. We have personalized service. We're here. You can come talk to us and say, hey, this is bad, this is good, this is not what I'm looking for. Um, we are trying to stay engaged in the community, and that engagement partly comes back to our philanthropy, which we'll talk a little bit later. And then, as you can see on the coffee that we have out there, we try to hit a variety of origins. We try to have our offerings split between the east and the west hemispheres. And doing so helps all coffee growing regions, but then offers us out, offers us the ability to get the widest range of flavor profiles available. And when Carrie's talking about that personalized service, one of the things that when we kind of talk to, or we try to do when we talk to new customers, is an invitation to come out to the shop and actually see what happens as we're doing the roasting. And so that's a different experience, I think, that a lot of people will probably get. So. And how we do it, when we get a new coffee in, it takes time. It takes multiple roasts. Um, <coughs> to trying to just experiment what happens when I ramp up the temperature early versus late, how high can I take it, how dark does that roast need to be, how dark does that coffee, can I coffee handle the roast. Um, we end up having multiple testers. Our, <coughs> our community group in our church has become a very viable group for us, and yay, nay, no, this one's good, yeah, this one's the best. And that typically comes down to multiples within a lot. Um, we have, uh, with that, multiple trials and then replication. Now replication, you can see up there, it's just little cups of coffee. Almost a Turkish method of drinking coffee, except I'm doing it with a spoon and slurping it. So, and lots and lots and lots of times do that. So the other option, the other question is where can you find us? You can always find us on our web store, tsponsorroasters.com. We offer all of our products there for delivery and for pickup locally. Don't feel that unless you just want it delivered to your house, you should have to pay for delivery across the town. A um, couple different options there. Um, Retail-wise, we're at the Wolford Farmer's Market, we're at the Wild West Farmer's Market, we're on the shelf at Fly Wild Outfitters. Hopefully starting tomorrow or Friday, we'll be on one more retail shelf in town. Um, by the cup, you can drink our coffee at the Texas Tech Club. Uh, the Crank Coffee Company in Brownfield, Texas, and at Baked Bliss. And as I mentioned earlier, our philanthropy. Uh, we support through our Wolf Farmers Market, our full cup <coughs> drip coffee. All proceeds from that go directly to the Texas Boys Ranch or those crazy interviews. I'll let Cheryl talk about the Texas Boys Ranch. No. Um. So who in the room know, doesn't know what the Texas Boys Ranch is? Do I need to go? So the Texas Boys Ranch is a group home for kids that are have not been placed into foster care. So um, they've been removed from their parents but not placed into permanent foster care homes. It is a, uh, a way to adoption for some of the kids. They serve both boys and girls. Um, and that has become kind of dear to our heart because we've had several friends either become house parents out of the boys' ranch. We have another group of friends that, that are couple that actually adopted three girls from there. Um, a lot of times they're troubled kids. So, um, and then there were two little boys that, that, that they're the kind of kids that just kind of take it to heart. And they, one actually ended up going back with his family and the other one chose not to. So, but it's a good choice. They use, you know, work, but they have house families. They are Christian based. They help those kids through those times, provide that support, try to get them into the community, and kind of just work through that. So that's one reason, you know, we work with the Texas Boys Ranch. 
Those Crazy Etheridges is a family that is doing mission work in South Africa with gospel outreach right outside of Johannesburg, South Africa. We had an opportunity <coughs> to really meet them and work with them four years ago now when we did a mission trip down there. So it's um, Jared and Megan Etheridge and their three, is it four now? So there are four kids. Um, and that group does a lot of work just there outside of Joburg, within Joburg. Then they've got churches in Malawi and a different few other places there in Tanzania. Um, and really changing lives there and doing some really good work. And so that's a personal connection we have to that particular group. So we've also, you know, these are the two that we shoot, that we support on a regular basis, but we've also done donations and gifts and different things to different groups throughout. You know, like I said, trying to stay engaged within the community and do the work that. So then as we get close to finishing up, we'll just leave you with our mission statement. It's to provide the highest quality roasted coffee beans in the most disabled manner and share a blessing with each person who drinks from them, personally connecting them with the small farms all over the world. So with that, questions? <coughs> what inspired your name? What inspired my name? So, uh, 